Yeah! Has arrived. Yeah! Look at it! It's so strong! It's so good! And it doesn't matter! 13? 15. Looks like I can as much. As much salt as I get home! <laughs>
but look how much I've already lost. And that's that's honestly that's that's more of my deck being not that optimized for this kind of matchup. Deck is very gimmicky. Uh, if he has another one, I lose anyway. I'm pretty much going to lose no matter what I do, so I don't really think it matters too much. Oh well, I'm still. The main point of this is not that I'm gonna win because it's very hard to get, win against Mysteria, uh, especially with this deck, especially getting this card. This card is such a dead draw. Like all the other accelerates are so good, but this thing is just a, a dead weight in your hand. And I actually didn't know. It took me a while to actually realize that uh, what's it called? Rotated out. Like uh, a Mystic Ring actually rotated out, so you can't even tech that really. Couldn't play Ryu on turn, uh, on the optimal turn, which kind of sucks. Optimizing the turn that he's supposed to come out. And he's just playing Mysterio cards, Mysterio cards, Mysterio cards. It's just like, uh, the biggest problem from what I used to remember is that they didn't really have so much of these obnoxiously strong decks when I first started playing. Like, there were decks that were strong, but, you know, you they were... I would say easily counterable like you, they, you didn't have to work too hard to like counter it like so if a person was doing the the OP deck with storm you at least could somewhat stop it somewhat like you had a somewhat way of stopping it not like the most optimal this is the best way but you had something you know like you had a way to just oh like you could tech in wards and stuff there's not much you could tech into Mysteria there's not much you could tech into dragon ramping you just kind of have to just take it <laughs> You just take it. That's it. You, 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 what is it? Your eternal reward. That's just it. I still don't feel safe playing Ryo, but like the longer I delay it, uh, I don't know if this is the right option either. Oh, I'm stupid. I could have just played this, right? But I want to progress my hand a little bit before doing so. Oh baby. Like I'm 100% we lose a turn then. There's not much I could do. I do have this pumped up really high, so if he doesn't necessarily draw another one of these or like put it out immediately, he can't draw into it. He'd have to have it spell boosted a little bit already. Um, so kind of hoping that he doesn't in the missile course. And that's why I was. That's why I didn't want to do that other trade because if he gained missile somehow, he would have won and did two damage with the golem, and I would have lost. So trying my best to. Avoid lethal, which he does eventually have one of these. Now I can actually safely play it. Uh, I could safely finally play Ryo, Evo it, and then hope that he just doesn't get, you know, a really good turn nine. He actually might not actually have Ann, so. Luckily, we can start healing a little bit next turn with the Truce Education. We could also draw into one that's going to be stacked. I do have two Ryo, so I could play the next one if I really need to. But like I was saying, <laughs> maybe I should have done it. Now I realize why people actually, they, they don't talk in other things. Oh, how fortuitous. Um, <laughs> there goes the end. There it is. And he's played a plethora. That thing is at least 13. I don't usually count. I have like a really good, you know... I don't know what it's called, but I, I pretty much know for a fact whether or not it's going to kill me or not. All right, um, and you know, I haven't really been playing towards this. One, two, three, four, five, six if I played that, seven and eight. So technically, if I played this and this, I would she would come out, but she doesn't have ward or anything. Um, so I have to go with, I think this play, six, no. I mean, it leaves a ward out, but this would have to heal the majority of me. But even if this all went into me, I know that that thing is more than 13 for a fact. I could do this and kill that, but then I'll only heal two. I'll be at four HP and we all know that end sorcery is higher than that. I think we have to go with the... Oh, that's that was nice. That was, that was nice of you, game. Okay. I'm trying to get this thing as fat as possible. 
Can we play one call? Wait, isn't this one better? No, this one's better. The world shall hear this proclamation. <laughs> yeah! Has arrived. Yeah! Look at it! It's so strong! It's so good! And it doesn't matter! <laughs> 13? 15. Pick it as much. As much salt as I get home! <laughs> And that's it. That that's what happens to everybody. Do I win like probably the next turn? Yeah. Should you make a deck that can win earlier? Yeah. But the problem that I was saying before is that these decks, I'm just gonna go with the home. I'm not gonna start another match. Is that they actually have a lot of wards. There's a lot of Mysterian Circles because of that specific card that gives Mysterian Circles. <laughs> so so you have all these wards. You have Greya. You have uh, the Mysterian Right that gives the Golem, and they're stopping all the rushes. And I mean they don't have heal. So like if you can. The best, but the problem is that the best stuff that does damage to face is in unlimited. So I understand why people in rotation are really upset with some of the things that are going on. But I, I would challenge you to play unlimited, to try out unlimited and see that you know it's actually not that bad. Because <laughs> yeah, you could play Mysteria, but you could play something just as crazy. And that's the thing is that's why I like about unlimited, and I hope that the next mode that they announce or the uh, the next thing is that they actually make something called balanced. There's rotation, unlimited, and then there's balance. And unlimited actually has like actual thing like Mysterian knowledge is limited to one. Um, what else is there? Like uh, Grimory is limited to one. There's a lot of different things where in unlimited is like oh we gotta do it, but they don't do that in rotation for some reason. Like why you can you have three Grimories in rotation, but you know not even though you could make a very strong rotation that can bring it into unlimited and still win. But for some reason in a rotation that you could have as many Grimories, you can have as many Mysterian knowledges, you can have you know whatever but the only reason why certain cards are not usable in a rotation in comparison to being usable in unlimited it's just when they rotate out so yeah like there is broken stupid stuff in rotation but it will take months but before those things are not in the meta but they'll just replace it with broke because as you can see prince of kakaitis is a remake of a card that was already in the game but it's a lot better <laughs> It's just better. You could accelerate it now because accelerate's a thing. So the more mechanics that they add into the game, they'll also just add that to reprints of older cards. You know, Mysteria might come back, like the, the standard Mysteria might come back with an accelerate plus one spell damage, you know, you know, turn four or something like that. But if you play her, you get plus two or something stupid like that. And then, you know, they'll have that and they'll be like, okay, there we go. Well, I mean, Mysteria rotated out, you know, screw that card, but now you have a completely different broken version of it same thing with you know most of these cards you know like that are in these decks you know rooney might get reprinted and all of a sudden you know it's a crazy thing because that's that's just what they could do and that's what they've done they like to reprint cards and you know bring back old cards mordecai reprint now he's a little bit you know balanced or better or worse than what they originally were but i don't know let me know what you guys think i i really think that uh they know that the game is being, you know, that Mysteria is a strong thing. But in the tournament sense of it, you know, I think they do so well in tournaments as far as like views and people liking it that you're only going to see Mysteria and Mysteria deck could be banned. So you don't even see Rootcraft. You don't have to fight against it if you don't want to. But in the casual game aspect of it, you have to deal with it. And I see so many people pissed about Rune because of just having to constantly deal with that deck and there's nothing you can do about it. Like, I don't even see Shadow. I see Shadow every once in a blue moon. I see Portal once in a never moon. The false sun. The false <laughs> the false sun when you see a Portal Craft deck. And it's like, yeah, what are you doing here? And, you know, like, all the other crafts. Even, um, you know, Forest. You don't see them that often either. Unless, like, some big meta deck comes out. Like, how uh, Agro Forest. And then you see a couple of it. And then you just, they, they stop playing. Or they switch back to their Mysteria Craft because they want to climb. And the deck plays itself. So, you know, why why sit here and whatever that I'm in, BO or whatever, B0, when you could play Mysteria constantly and win more often just because of the strength of the deck than have to deal with anything else. That's just, you know, that's just how a game like this would work or any rank. Same thing in League of Legends. They do the same thing. Why play this non-meta character when you could play the, one of the best characters? There's just no point. But... That is why my I have an argument for Unlimited. That is why in Unlimited, I'm actually higher ranked in Unlimited because I when you play Unlimited, everything is there. There's no limitation. There is no 
and I'm playing rotation now because I want to understand like you know the meta in both. But when I play unlimited, everything is there. Like there's nothing, you know. You can play Haven now. It's not oh I have to worry about lines and or or I have to worry about um this. It's like no, you have to worry about the astute statue as well. You have to worry about you know the lines. Anything you don't know what the heck their deck is. You have to actually do, in my opinion, more prediction and more you know knowledge of what they have and what they will be playing. To know and yes unlimited has their own meta decks and stuff like that as cards come out they're gonna add it into their crazy repertoire and make a crazier deck you know understandable but rotation at least if i see rune crab i don't necessarily know if mysteria unless they start playing mysteria card but then they can start playing and then boom it's an unbodied witch deck boom it's a d ship deck and i hate d ships and i'm a rune craft player i hate and I, I don't even want to play mysteria anymore and i damn sure don't want to play no d shift because that's just stupid but at least you you know you see that and then you see the roach and then you see the swordcraft doing storm you see so much more variety but if i load up one more time i guarantee but that's going to be the end of the video let's see who i play that's going to be the end of the video thank you guys if you like the the type this type of video Please let me know. I think next time I might just start off and maybe end with a match, then start with a match and try to talk to it and still do commentary. I don't know. It's my first time doing a video like this. So you guys let me know. But I'm going to go in rotation, load up. I'm going to play this. I'm not going to actually play the match on, on the thing. I'll probably cut it off. But uh, let's see who I get. We got one runecraft. We'll see. We'll see. If it's not runecraft, if it's not runecraft, I will do a, my. I'm gonna buy the legendary pack or whatever. I will. I will. I will do an opening for it. My next video will be an opening of everything I get. Or I'll just do it. What? Who is it? Who is it? Let's see. As much salt as I can hold. Let's see you in action. 